was involved with gay liberation front way back in the early 70s it was a, it was a very political organization although we had great fun we didn't just want gay rights we wanted a fairer society, a better society, a different society. We helped organise or we actually set up the first Gay Pride March in June 1972. And it basically came about because we were no longer prepared to live invisible lives. I did go on the first Pride March. First thing I remember is a huge police presence, very intimidating police presence. I don't know if they were meant to deter us or protect us or what they were there for, but they obviously thought we were going to do something dreadful. I don't remember it as a march. I remember it much more as a kind of carnival atmosphere. And I remember it was advertised in gay news as a pride carnival as well. So there's lots of arguments over the years about whether pride is political with a capital P or a small P or not at all, whatever. And certainly the intention at the beginning, I think, was have fun. And the other intention was that it should be inclusive. Uh, I mean, the Gay Liberation Front has a reputation for being quite sectarian in some ways, but they certainly weren't in this. Their conscious effort was to get people out from the, um, you know, from, from, from the closet. First Pride in London came about because the law then said you couldn't have any sex if you were male and if you were under 21. So Gay Liberation Front had an under 21 group formed by under 21s, and they decided that there ought to be a Pride March. And they told us, old folks of 26 and 27, that there ought to be a Pride March. Fine. When I went to the first Pride in London, I felt exhilarated, amazed. We were taking back the streets. We were taking back the open air because our lives had been in the shade, in the shadow, under the trees, hidden. And here we were just walking along arm in arm, stopping, having a kiss. I remember waking up feeling incredibly excited and very nervous on that first Pride March because you might be photographed, you might be seen and being seen by somebody you know or you work with or somebody who knows your family is a very scary thing in those days. This is a huge thing we're doing. People start turning up and then more people and then more people. And that was just so exciting, so amazing. Dancing, marching, smiling, and walking through the streets to Hyde Park to have a gay day. It was an incredible feeling. I don't think I would have dreamt that in my life I'd see the changes and I'd see pride as big and as celebratory and as colorful and open as it is now. We did it for us. And I'm really pleased that it's created a far better world for people in the countries that have seen change.